next, let's uh, queer up the USA view, he view. Christian hate preachers were denied service at a Milwaukee subway during the RNC. At the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee, a group of Christian hate preachers faced an unexpected snub at a local subway restaurant. The four white men donning t-shirts emblazoned with inflammatory messages such as abortion is murder and homo sex is sin were denied service by a subway employee. In a video shared on Facebook, the group is seen confronting the staff member with one of the preachers saying, she's refusing to serve us. The employee confirms this saying the decision is based on the messages written on the preacher's shirt. The incident has sparked outrage from far-right commentators with the Daily Mail accusing Subway of religious discrimination. The tabloid, is, is report, the tabloid report implied that the men had the right to display their contentious views without facing backlash, though it notably blurred off the offensive anti-LGBTQ message written on one of the shirts. The group is led by notorious street preacher David Grisham, who has previously caused controversies with his disruptive stunts. Despite the controversy, many locals were in support of the employee's decision and showed disdain for the provocative messaging on display. One local resident remarked that, th that she would rather have some radical love exhibited in Christ's name around here than have a traveling road show on their shirts. She just said she's refusing to serve us. What are you talking about? This girl here just said she's refusing to serve us. So we have to go somewhere else? I want, to, I want her to say it again. I, I, I'm okay. And this is Subway where? Because of my t-shirt? Because of my t-shirt? Okay. I'm sure Subway Corp would love to hear that. What does the shirt say? It's a very vital part of this. You say you were kicked out and not served because you were Christian. Now, when you say Christian, there are a lot of people who like to exploit religion for hate. Anyway, if you're anything like the commenters of that original video, you're asking the same question everyone's asking, what do the shirts say? I found their shirts. Is this you guys? Is this why they didn't serve you? Were these the shirts in question? These guys had just come from the RNC. And you know, they're probably against cancel culture or filming people and putting them online. But you know, when it works in their favor... So, uh, clickbait, the subway Karen, um, not really seeing the Karen attitude, more like seeing somebody standing up for their principles. Now you got to think about subway and individually franchised. I can tell you that for a fact, but still a large corporation might have a little, you know, backlash now. Um, what, what, what are we all thinking here? I mean, if somebody came, if I was an employee at a subway or anywhere and somebody came up with a T-shirt that said Latinos are rapists, I'm not going to serve you. Mm -hmm. And I have all the right mm -hmm. in the world as maybe telling somebody else, hey, you serve them. Right. Because I, I because I won't. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I love how they uh, title this um, refuse service to Christians. Right. That should be retitled. It's, you know, refusing service to bigots, fascists and horrible humans, because that's exactly what that one lady did. She just stood up for her rights and she right. didn't feel right in herself just giving this person service. You know, I mean, um, what do you think, Adriana? I, I was just going to comment and just say, I'm sure if the shirt said God is love, I'm sure no one would have had a problem Not with that. All. Yeah. But the fact that you want to talk about and demean other people it's it's completely ridiculous and it's not christ-like yeah and don't you just love when karens call a non-karen a karen mm -hmm. boy do they not understand how that works <laughs> and let me just say you would have thought that grifter grisham would have come prepared with some of those yummy prepackaged shelf stable for patriots meals and snacks for his people i guess they were too busy crowdsourcing the additional six hundred and fifty seven dollars they needed for their milwaukee trip seriously they were asking for supporters to send them six hundred they were just 657 short that's it can you help us that's it yeah did you read that story about how the rnc basically almost took down grinder because of how <laughs> popular grinder was at the rnc yes big surprise grinder. are you serious <laughs> okay blowing up